Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. I'm at Symphony Space for the Camp Broadway family finale and the kickoff of their 20th season. Camp Broadway is the original week-long summer program for theater-loving kids. <laughs> It's the culmination of the week. We're here at the family finale. How do you feel today? Oh my gosh, overwhelmed, overjoyed. Uh, so filled with incredible emotion about what has happened today and this past week. So um, the muses are on us and we will see what happens tonight, which should be phenomenal, Richie. Now, you direct both of the shows. So you've directed both Susical and Once on this Island, right? Correct. So we had the whole week to put two of these mini musicals together. So it's a snapshot of the of the show, not the entire show. But we have about four or five numbers in each show that have scenes that interlock each of those uh, s numbers to form a cohesive 25 minutes. And yes, all of them, me. So talk about Camp Broadway, what it is, what attracted you to be a part of this. My friend Tony Parisi asked me to be part of this, and that was a, a great uh, joy, and I'm honored to be here. Camp Broadway is a program designed for theater-loving kids. It's uh, like baseball is, Little League is for you know professional baseball. It's a theater-loving kid. It's not a professional training ground. We're not here to compete. We're not here to, it's not a competitive program. It's here to enrich and enjoy and love what they do in terms of theater. It's just great in that regard, so. But you also sort of teach them the same way a Broadway show is put on, but in a very short amount of time. We follow absolutely everything that we would do in a Broadway show. And having been in a couple myself, that is absolutely one of the most difficult things to teach these kids is the discipline, the respect for the space, you know, come in prepared. So absolutely everything that we do downtown, we're doing here at Symphony Space and with Camp Broadway. What gives you the greatest enjoyment and thrill being a part of this? Seeing somebody come in on Monday with this sort of wonderment of like what's going to happen and then actually seeing their end result where they've made a choice on stage, they have now articulated a line, accomplished a, a dance step they didn't have three days ago and they live in that moment and they're just so in, you know, enthralled that they've accomplished something and they've created something and they've used their imagination. So that's real, a real joy. So you have one week, you're directing both the shows, Susical and One Summer Island. How do you move back and forth? And I'm also putting the whole evening together too, so I'm acting as the host of the evening. Let's not forget the MC here. How did we do it? Um, you get up early in the morning and you're at call at 8.30 in the morning. Um, it's, uh, it's interesting because both of the shows are connected. Stephen Flaherty and Lynn Ahrens, they're both you know, in the same you know, storytelling, narrative-driven drama. Um, uh, so it's interesting that way uh, that we brought in both of those themes and saying, look, this is you know, both narrative, Cat in the Hat and the gods you know, pushing these stories forward. So it has that kind of a voice and a tone to it, although completely different in style. Cat in the Hat is sort of a very animated, pop front kind of a storybook feel. And Once in this Island is very earthy with with, you know, water and air and everything that the script tells us to do. So it was really interesting to divide those two sort of ideas on, on these kids. So that was a great accomplishment that they did. You know, this is the 19th season of Camp Broadway. They're getting ready to kick off the 20th. What does that all mean to you? Well, it means kids enjoy this and they come back for more and more and more. I was amazed that this one camper who received our gypsy robe this year, it's her eighth year and she's finally you said, you know, you got bless you with love. You have to go out into the real world now and she's, I'm going to follow this career path into theater which is phenomenal it's great so that's wonderful well this week at Camp Broadway we have basically four days to put together a show we have two different musicals the older kids are doing once on this island and the younger kids do Susical the musical and so we get them to sing dance and act and doing scenes from the show put it all together with costumes and on Friday we perform
and they have a day off in between on Wednesday because they're going to see a Broadway show. So they really only have three days to put this whole thing together and learn five different uh, songs, each group. So it's a lot. So how much prep do you do beforehand? Me personally, yeah. um, I start working uh, as soon as I know what the show is. So I start to listen to the music and just hear how it talks to me. And so I started in January, February, listening to Once on this Island and trying to get an idea of what the songs were and how it made me feel. And after that, the choreography. And Tony Parisi, our artistic yeah. director, who wrote the script um, just to get an idea of what was in his head as far as what the show was and how we are presenting it. So talk about the ages of the kids in your group doing One Summer's Island. I have, well, actually, I have a, a couple of 12-year-old, 12 12-year-olds, 12 but normally it's 13 to 17-year-olds. So it's basically high school, just finishing grade school and into high school. And they're terrific. How many years have you been here at Camp Broadway? This is my 16th summer, so. Congratulations. Thank Tell you. me what it means to you, 16. That's a really wonderful number, what it all means to you. You know, I, I don't, it's one of those things that I, I just have so much passion and you keep on forgetting how many years you keep on doing it, except when you see the kids that you had were 10 and now they've gone to college and some of them have gone on and gone into theater um, one way, either behind the set or on stage. And so it's, it's pretty... It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing to be part of it. We had, we all grew up with wonderful mentors, and so we're just trying to give back and pay forward to uh, the people that I worked with. I'm just trying to pass on their lessons. Um, a lot of us are old school, and so I want to make sure that those uh, those principles and old school way of doing shows are passed on. Could you actually take the kids through the way a Broadway show is put together, primarily, but in a very short amount of time, don't you? Yeah, in a very short time. <laughs> it's basically they learn the song in the morning. Sometimes they don't even, like here in New York, they don't even learn one of the songs. We throw them into the choreography and then they learn the song afterwards. But they learn the song and then the dance, uh, all a uh, actually one big song and dance on Monday and then everything else is on Tuesday and so they are it's yeah it's automatic and it, it's they're long numbers so it, it takes a while for them normally to learn it and just what would take one person an entire day to teach we have to do it in an hour and the kids learn it they do <laughs> <laughs> they do, they, and it's amazing because there's always that broad, uh, Camp Broadway magical miracle that, uh, that happens at the end of the week, that they actually do get it because their family's out there yeah. and supporting them, and they're supporting each other, and they're all here because they love it. Now, I know that Camp Broadway is getting ready. This is the 19th season. You're getting ready to kick off the 20th season. What that means to you? <sighs> to know that, that somebody keeps on wanting to come back to us year after year after year, and that loves Camp Broadway and loves the staff, and they want to keep on coming back and have new experiences. That means we're doing something right. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Have the best time Thank today. You. Thank now, you so much. just give me your full name and what you do. So, when Paul edits, you're not billed as Tony. Okay. I'm Sue Delano, and I'm the choreographer for the older kids. So, here we are. It's the finale of the week. How do you feel today? Well, I feel great. I feel like a proud papa because, you know, I kind of like spawned this whole program um, early on. I was I was handed a program that wasn't a program yet, and I have made it a, a reproducible program. So I've already been to our Shining Stars program, which is our little babies. I've seen the Next Step program, which is the program after camp, and now this is our classic camp. And uh, it's just exciting to see the returning campers that I knew from little kids. So it's great. Why did you want to get involved in this originally? What was missing? Um, what was missing when I, when I got involved with this was a summer job. And Susan Lee said, hey, I have this crazy idea. Would you like to be part of it? And I said, well, sure, I'm up for a challenge. And as I said, at that time, Camp Broadway was a wonderful idea that Susan Lee had, but it didn't have any structure. And it didn't, you know, it, it, it wasn't a machine that could be reproducible. So uh, along many years now, you know, every year we've learned more and more and more. And now this year we've really busted out into three different companies going out all over the country several different programs that are offshoots of the original classic camp so it's, it's been a great ride you know because when i asked you that it was missing what was also missing from a theater community i mean kids never had this oh god no i didn't and and so many of the theater professionals that come to camp they all say wow if only we had this when we were growing up um 
I want to just make a point of saying that this is not for pre-theater kids. This is for theater-loving kids. They don't have the outlet. You know, they're the dance competitions and they're your, you know, show choirs and things like that. These kids love Broadway. They love singing, dancing, and acting. Some of them have never actually done it on a stage before this week. So that's what's great about us. We serve a specific community of kids, uh, but it's a wonderful, wonderful community. So for all these years, you've chosen the programs that are done each summer? Yes, uh, you know, with Susan, yeah. uh, you know, we select the shows, we select the themes, then I rewrite the shows to fit our model, you know, and it has to be accomplishable in four days, you know, so obviously we don't do the full shows, so that's all falls on me, and then I've been teaching the staff as well. So 19 seasons, getting ready to kick off the 20th, what does that number mean to you? <laughs> it means I'm getting old. <laughs> Besides that, you look terrific. <laughs> well, thanks so much. Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, theater keeps you young. Yeah. Um, it, it means that there's a future for live theater. There's a future for Broadway. We're really audience development. So, and as, as I've said, I've seen kids who have moved on. Actually, one of our campers is a lead producer on Gentleman's Guide. And I just happened to run into him and he said, Tony? And I said, yeah. He said, Greg, Camp Broadway. <laughs> and uh, he said, I'm producing now. I said, what? He said, well, I just opened Gentleman's Guide. I was like, oh my God, there you have it. You know, but it's not about that, but that is a magical, wonderful thing that, that happens. So here we are, it's the family finale. How excited are you today? I'm thrilled. We work all year for this programming and this week we got to welcome 155 families to New York City and expose their children to the Broadway community. So talk about Camp Broadway. Explain it to me because it doesn't just take place in New York. It takes place all across the country. Talk about that. Sure. So Camp Broadway was founded on the idea that this is for the fans of Broadway. This is for theater loving kids. Any kid can participate. The barrier to entry is curiosity. So. There are venues around the country who are also interested in this idea. So currently, in addition to New York City, we're in 11 cities around the country. And how many years have you been here? I've been with Camp Broadway for four years, and I come from um, a stage management background. And so um, my role in this is that I set up the framework and the basis for the artists and the Broadway community to deliver this kind of programming here and around the country. So talk about the enjoyment that you get out of here and what, you know, out of this and what the past four years have been like for you. Well, the enjoyment I get out of this is that it's really about providing people who don't have access to Broadway performers and professionals that point of access. So all the talents and skills that we have as theater professionals get to be applied to a group of people who will love it and participate in it for the rest of their lives, whether that means they're theater going veterinarians or whether that means they become the next generation of Bernadette Peters. Yeah. And talk about how the week is structured. They do workshops during the week that leads up to tonight. Tell me about that. Yep. So the week is structured in that they each group that you'll see today, there are two show titles performed and they rehearse and learn songs and choreography about those show titles. In addition to that, we invite Broadway performers who are in current Broadway shows to come and teach workshops in their specialties, whether that's dialect or movement or acting or props, so that the kids are exposed to a large community of people. They also see a Broadway show. Um, this year they saw Aladdin and they had a talk back with the cast and they also then meet child performers, so kids like them who have professional careers. What a wonderful thing, what a wonderful idea to do that. Yeah, it's great, and it's really Susan Lee um, who created this idea because she believed in zero degrees of separation between the fans and the professional community as a way of building an audience and building a community of people who will love it and support it. Now, talk about the Camp Broadway robe. Oh, the Camp Broadway robe is um, it, its just one more of those authentic, genuine Broadway traditions that are baked into everything that Camp Broadway does. So the kids learn about that tradition and they also get a little swatch of fabric that they personalize and contribute to the robe. So as you mentioned with the camp traveling around the country, because all of the, the creative team are direct from Broadway, the robe travels around the country and every child around the country pins their own swatch on the robe. So at the end of the summer, there are nearly 2,000 swatches on our Camp Broadway robe. 
So this is, you're coming into your 20th season. Tell me what that means to you. Well, for me, you know, joining the company is sort of early as four years ago. It's really a privilege to be part of that tradition and to sort of see it and shepherd it into whatever this will grow into as we evolve we engage more families and kids, and we expand our presence around the country. So I'm excited to see what's next. We're building more special events. Um, the kids are going to perform at Madison Square Garden next month. We perform with the New York Pops every year at Carnegie Hall. So it's really about building more camp experiences and giving them performance opportunities that they wouldn't get anywhere else. So here we are. It's the end of the week. It's the family finale. How did you two get here for Camp Broadway? Well, there's a contest a couple months back where we had to submit a video and then get votes on it. Um, and I submitted a dance video and then just had to rack up the votes. Okay, so what was your video? Uh, I did Irish step dancing. Um, and it was like a minute long, just Irish step dancing. Great. And for you? Uh, I also did a dance um, and it was about the same length. And what kind of style? Um, I think uh, close to ballet, I guess, okay. just... So this was sort of in cahoots. What was the company that you did this through? Called Nothing But Nuts, or what was it called? Nothing But Nets. Okay. Uh, nothing But Nets. They send nets to, uh, to Africa for malaria, to protect people from malaria. How wonderful. So tell me what this whole week has been like for you here. Um, it's just been great. I, I've seen four Broadways and this camp was just phenomenal. It was amazing experience, just like getting to meet so many people and getting to see a ton of shows too and making new friends. It was just overwhelming in a way. So you got to see some shows this week too. What were some of the shows you went to see? I saw Pippin, Aladdin, Musies, and... Wicked. Wicked. Yeah. How cool is that? Those are like the four biggest shows in town. What was it like seeing them on Broadway? Um, uh, those were actually, I've never been to New York before this, so it's just... It was pretty cool, right? Yeah. Now, what shows did you see this week? I saw Newsies, Aladdin, Bullets Over Broadway, and Les Mis. Wow, what a great mix. And what did it mean to you seeing those shows? It was really cool because, like, I've seen local productions where I live, but it's Broadway, so it's like can't get any better it's the pinnacle right yeah. so this week what's this whole week been like for you I mean are you are you which show are you in are you in Susical or One Summer Island I'm in Susical okay. who do you play in the show um there's it's basically an ensemble so everybody has the same sort of part in our group um and there it's basically an ensemble and we have individual lines and solos that we could get so how great has it been working on this show tell me um it's been fun it's it, it's definitely tiring, but it's worth it. Well, you've learned the whole show in like what four days? Yeah, <laughs> five days. Actually. It doesn't happen like that anywhere else. Yeah. So it's been really fun for you, right? Yes, definitely. And you're doing the other show? Yes, once on this island, um, I play a grand ohm slash peasant slash storyteller, um, and like he said, it's an ensemble, so we each get different solos, different lines, and it's just crazy because we. Like, learn it so quick. Yeah, like we learned it in three and a half days, so it was kind of overwhelming. <laughs> well, you know, if you can learn a show in three and a half days, you can really learn anything, right? Don't you think? So did you learn the choreography first, I think they told me, before the songs? How did it work for you? Well, for our group, we learned all the songs before the okay. choreography. Um, but there's like four groups, and two of them do um, uh, Once on this Island, and the other two do Seussical. And so my group did, which is in Seussical, they did the songs before the choreography and the other one did it, vice versa. Did one come easier than the other? Did the songs come easier for you than the choreography? Or since you started in a dance world, did the dance come faster than the songs? Uh, I think it was the songs just because the, like, well, because the, like, the dances are a lot more difficult, especially when you're singing along with it. Okay. And for you, what was the most challenging for you? Was it the songs or the dancing? I think the dance came easier for me because I've been dancing for a while and I don't sing as often. So like learning the choreography was a lot easier to pick up because I'm used to picking up choreography. So. so if you could sum up the best part of this week, what was it for each of you? What was the best part of this for you? I think it was the Broadway shows. 
you want to maybe have a career? Do you want to be an actor or a dancer yeah. or a singer? That's what I want to do. Good for you. And for you, what's been the best part of the week? Um, like he said, Broadway, because like, I saw a couple of my favorite actors walking down the street, and that was just, that doesn't happen back home. <laughs> So here we are. It's the family finale night. How do you feel? I feel like a mom whose children are graduating from college. I mean, we started Camp Broadway 19 years ago. We're about to start our 20th season. And, you know, it started in a little studio. And we just said, because I wanted to create a program that I would have liked to have gone to when I was a kid. I mean, I was one of those kids that just loved Broadway. But, there was, but I didn't want to be a performer, but there was nothing for me. So I thought, well, I'll do it. And I'd had such a great opportunity to work with wonderful people in the theater. And so I called a few friends, and here we are all these years later. And the interesting thing is, is Camp Broadway is here today because parents and kids kept saying, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. And in the time that we've been in business, 30,000 kids have come to camp. We've done about... 16,000 workshops for 400,000 kids. We've worked with 100 shows. It just goes to prove that Broadway is alive and well in kids, in the hearts and minds of kids in America. So you know the show's getting ready to begin. It's the 20th season you're coming into. What does it mean to you? It means that, um, that we created a little idea that grew into a big driver for hearts and minds. Kids love the theater and we're happy to help them connect to it in a meaningful way. Listen to the mama.